infants and sleep. So how does sleep affect the infant growth and what is the impact on not only the child but also the parents? So it's important for their mental development, physical growth and development and general well-being. But we also know that the requirement of sleep changes according to the age. That is that newborns require sometimes almost 17 to 18 hours of sleep per day. And by the time they reach one year, it may become about 10, 12 hours. That's one part. Secondly, when they are born, their circadian system or the sleep cycle is not well developed. So they have sleep in the day as well as sleep in the night. So the sleep during the day in a newborn is again maybe about 9 to 7 to 10, 9, nine hours. But gradually as in the first year progresses, at the end of the first year, the day sleep may become just about 3 to 4 hours. So one has to take note of the total requirement and the sleep during the day and sleep at night. So what is the function of sleep and how does it really change? It's again important for their memory consolidation, memory growth, certain growth hormones are released for their physical growth. And another thing being discovered is the emotional stability. And it's been seen that Children who have a good sleep, they grow up to be more emotionally stable. This is also important for parents because if the child is not sleeping well, it will disturb the parents' sleep. So what can one do? Most important is to have a very good bedtime routine. Kind of follow a similar pattern right from birth till about the year or even later. However, things will change. First is the number of naps in the day. So as the child grows, the number of naps in the day will decrease. So newborn has frequent naps in the day, interspersed with wake period, feeding, nap. Three to six months, the naps become less. At one year, maybe just maybe two naps, a bigger chunk of a nap in the morning and a smaller one in the afternoon, early afternoon. So avoid late night naps because they will, or late evening naps, they will interfere with the night sleep. Second is the environment, the room where the child is going to sleep. Make sure that the lights are dimmed near the bedtime and then they go into a very dim light at night. The temperature of the room should be comfortable and the noise. So if you're not able to get rid of the noise, you can use something like a sound machine. The child also needs to feel protected and you can either tuck in the child, use a sleep sack, so they feel like as if they're somebody's holding them. A soothing routine, you can read a book, there could be some simple music, but generally calming activities, not excessive stimulation, not excessive playing right near bedtime. They can have their last feed, so they remain full for a little longer, and that's how the night will be much better. However, if they do wake up at night, which is pretty common in the first few months, but generally seven to nine months, ideally they should sleep a good chunk at night. And that way the parents also will get some rest. So I do hope uh, these issues about why sleep is important and what can one do to just establish a good nighttime routine should be helpful for all. <music>